Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, a.k.a. Hollywood J. Black, live in the building once again, back with another Sinful Black Reacts. I got my mans, my main mans, Big MF and Sinners in the building. How you doing today, sir? Man, I ain't doing good, 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 good. We are getting to one of the songs that you guys told us was was around. We didn't know it was a music video until right now. Um... We have Tom McDonald featuring Dax for Blame the Rappers. But before they blame the rappers, I need y'all to do me a favor. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Already. Do it already. If by the end of the video you're not thoroughly entertained, say subscribe. Don't cost you nothing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. He said, old folks, what, what, what did Rich say? Cost me nothing, pay me no mind. Old folks can go suck a lemon and lime. But still say yep. subscribe, please, because, you know, we need the numbers. Anyways. Anyways. So uh, yes, I well, we mentioned this because we this had this had stemmed from a fact that we had mentioned uh, a situation on Tom McDonald's last song that he had dropped. No, not the last one, the one before that. Yeah. Where he just got on somebody. Then we found and we found out it was Token. Yeah, we found so. out it was Token. But we thought it was Dax because earlier that week, Dax or or last or the week prior, Dax had dropped. Uh, um, was it the application for the uh, for the great the, the next goat, yeah, the, the next the, the next rap god, mm -hmm. and so it's similar, early similar because they wrote rap, rap for long periods of time, and we thought that was the beef, and apparently there is no beef. Um, yeah. In fact, it's all love, and they said you guys said they did a song together, and I and, said, and according and also according to Crip, Crip dissed him on that. I mean, Tommy Donald dissed Crip on that song, so Crip tried to invite him over for a barbecue. <laughs> oh, oh, oh just, just, just don't, don't, don't. <laughs> but I, I think they, I think they are cool though, because I think like people were saying that song is a shot of token. Yeah. So yeah. Well, you know, the whole thing. We, are, we already know Tom McDonald beat up on fucking Mac Lethal. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing to get lyrical talent. The other thing is to have your friends relate to, to relate to yeah. you, and that's the thing. That's the thing with guys like Dax. Um, and guys like Tom, their fans relate to him very, very well. Um, so, I, th I say we find out. This is my first time reacting to it. First time ever hearing it. I didn't yeah, know the song here. existed. Also, um, also, I just had Hollywood very fired up. So, tonight we're we recording a podcast, whatever we're doing, about wrestling and you guys want to hear that shit. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday is good. Yeah, tonight you'll you'll see it one either you'll see it in a day or see it at night. But we'll drop a link for you. Make sure. I, I think you got confused because we recorded on a Sunday when I said that. I think you got a little confused. So. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. It, it, it'll drop Tuesday. It'll drop today. I can't tell you if that today is going to be before you see this video or after you see this video. Whenever we fucking feel like it. But it'll definitely be. It'll definitely be after because I get off work after the video. So. Ah, well, you know, I might just. You know, I just might push this video back on purpose just to piss people off. How does that sound? Oh no, no. Oh fuck. Okay. All right. So I've I've read it long enough. So without further ado, <laughs> Kazoo type. Thank you. I even asked this man. He's ready because I know he's ready. That look on his face looks like a man that is ready. I don't have to ask him. We ready? Hey. So this is Tom McDonald. Dax. Look at the, look at the look in their eyes. Look at that intensity. Look at that integrity. Look at that intelligence. All right. This. 25 years ago today, Kurt Angle won the gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Woo! <laughs> this is Tom McDonald, Dax, Blame the Rappers, right here on Simple Black Reacts. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a rapper, but I'm losing my respect for the genre. How many songs about Xanax and alcohol are we dropping? How many kids we gonna kill for we admit it's a problem? Probably stop if it was one of us sons or one of our daughters. We know our demographic is primarily youth. We glorify breaking the law to children in school. Kids copy what we see and imitate what we do. They'll go to jail for doing the things you thought them was cool. We put women in our videos exploiting their bodies. While little girls around the world grab their phone and they watch it. They need a realistic role model, not just a Barbie. They see strippers and escorts, but no lawyers or doctors. Hey, hip-hop, what the hell happened? 
It was power to the people and we like that stuff. These days you're promoting that it's fun to be an addict, so I'm asking, how could y'all write that, bruh? You can blame the rapper if you know I'm, but your favorite song are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up? And who's to blame for who they've become? They made it look so cool to shoot those guns. I got white shoes on. Okay. So Tom is spitting truth on this one. Yes. Yes. Well, what has Tom ever lied? That's the no. Thing. I know, but this is the first time that I think we've heard him actually express disappointment in what people were saying on songs. Well, yeah, because well, keep in mind this came out. I want to say it says it's a, a year, year ago, but yeah. I will say it came out before. I want to say early 2020 or late 2019, before the COVID situation, mm -hmm. right? So you have to ask myself, and I say self, what kind of music was going on there back in late 2019, early 2020? And then I'm going to lick the cat. I just remember Future, you know, getting random women pregnant for no reason. Um, they're, the, you know, all these rappers, because I, I can like they slurred off. All, the, all, these, rapper, all these rappers are so juvenile style. Yep. Yeah. Rappers, admittedly, the doing fucking Molly and, and, you know, saying drugs and all this shit. And they wonder why the youth is so fucked up. They wonder why, oh, why isn't hip hop where it was before? Well, sir, if you go back to pre before 2012, when, you know, rap was still... When Drake was barely owning rap, I would say, well, I should say, even it was a skill based, uh, uh, um, skill based song set or a storytelling song set. Not, you know, we're doing drugs out here, song set. Because if you're doing drugs out there, maybe you should tell people to stop, right? Just don't be me, kids. That's what you got to be telling the rappers, right? They got to be telling the other kids, don't be me, I suck, you know? But instead, you want to glorify the life, and then that's the problem, and that's what he's speaking about. Facts. Now we get ready to hear Dax spit. So. All right. So let's check this thing out. Making music is a privilege and a choice. And if you ever get to be successful, you must understand the people that you influence. I swear by what you say and that the melodies you sing make wings, build dreams, and fill voids. We got medication straight through voice. Some give life and some destroy. And even though this money seems nice, it can't come. So we must take that as a hit. That there's other things in life we should enjoy. We move mountains. We cross states. We play roles in presidential debates. So don't you try and tell me making music is for fun. And you don't care about the things that our music helped make. Man, I know I'm not perfect, but I'll change. I'm the outcome of this world. In my pain, and this music is pills, and I promise this dose that you take won't make you say you can blame the rapper if you know I'm, but your favorite song are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up? And who's to blame for who they've become? They made it look so cool to shoot those guns. I tell you. That's... So why the fuck wasn't this video promoted? It wasn't. When it came out. Imagine a video not being promoted and still get garners four point four million views. But this is a song that you would want to hear over a lot of streams. Yeah, but I'm just but saying it's a, it's a message. <laughs> but, but I'm just saying, imagine, imagine a song that not not promoted. It wasn't. This wasn't heavily promoted on YouTube back then. Even when we were looking up Tom McDonald stuff, mm -hmm. it, well, you've but, never seen it. We yeah, never seen it. We we keep in mind. So understand how YouTube algorithm works. So when I pull up Tom McDonald videos, right? So when I do my search, so if Tom McDonald comes out with a video, it tells me about his new video, and at the same time, it should also then tell me, well, we've seen you watch a lot of Tom McDonald videos recently. Maybe you would be interested in more Tom McDonald, especially when we also watch a lot of Dax videos. Yeah, maybe you might like both of them together. Yeah, if not, here's a video that came out a year ago. You could send me somehow, send me a video uh, uh, from nine years ago. Um, yeah. You know about 
something that I have no, absolutely no fucking interest in. And yet, when I'm actively looking up Tom McDonald videos and actively looking up Dax videos, you you can't correlate the two together. And somehow you want me to put little Megatron three thousand in my playlist. Fuck you. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck. Uh, I look look up YMB Melon Bank little Megatron three thousand. Uh, fe- uh, featuring o- Optimus Negro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't look up none of these cats. But yet, if I'm looking up Tom McDonald and Dax, you want me to look at that? And that tells you the kind of power the industry has, ladies and gentlemen. That should frame it in a nice little place. Uh, <laughs> am I wrong? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It may- <sighs> it's like the algorithm still gives me 6 9 videos, even though we've only watched two of them. We've literally banned this nigga from our channel. Here's a... Tic- no! Why? Why? I'm gonna send Peter after that motherfucker for licking those kittens. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> but Dax's message is perfect. He said he wants to create music that's uplifting, positive. He said he promised you that his music will not be negative, but at the same time, he then came out with the Joker... Saga, which but that talks, was mental. That was mental health related. Well, that's what I meant. It was meant towards the toxicity of the internet and how people mm-hmm. treated him. So it makes sense. It wasn't negative in the sense of, you know, we're being negative. This was negative yeah. in the sense of the internet sucks. And like we actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna schedule that Tom McDonald song, which I think was his first breakthrough song, was White Boy. Yeah, from like seven years ago. Yeah, we're gonna me, me and Hollywood are gonna watch this song, listen to it, and look where Tom has come since then. Yeah. So let's do it. Let's let, let's finish out. We know we're gonna get a nice little uh bridge from my man Tom McDonald. Always love the I always love a Tom McDonald bridge. Let's let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm a rapper, but I swear that I'm embarrassed. Half of these artists can't even talk, they just mumble the lyrics. And the teenagers listen while they rebel from their parents. While the rappers tell them pop a pill by Gucci and wear it. They say screw the police, break the rules, smoke weed, buy some shoes you don't need, rep the hood in your street. All these rappers holding guns and now the kids want some. Mess around and kill a homie, you can't clean that blood. We encourage being stupid with our music and we're normalizing poor moral standards while we do it. Little boys see the way that women look on our videos and assume it's real life, project that image on little girls. It's unrealistic if you're young and you listen, you are one in a million you are loved you are different hey hip-hop i know life moves on but while i'm here how could you write that dog you can blame the rappers that you know but you i think we're gonna get another song. death verse too how about doing yeah. drugs so what happens after these kids grow up and who's to blame for who they've become they made it look so Like that bridge. Songs. It's not cool in real life. Cheap thrills and go until the morning comes. See what that feels like. You can blame the rappers, <laughs> and you know what, but your favorite songs are about doing drugs. So what happens after? It looked like a great combination of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm wondering if because Drake is from Canada, yeah. you two just don't recognize any of Canadian rappers because these two are both Canadian. Exactly. Exactly. And of course, Nova does her thing. Uh, the magical Nova Rockefeller. So, um, again, like I said, we say it about whenever we hear Brandon Hart shit. This is a song that should have been heavily promoted on the radio. Yes, very heavily. much so. Very much so. Well, that's what I'm saying. But, but in order to, but in order to promote this on the radio, so here's here's the problem that you're run into. Okay, in order to promote this on the radio, that means the industry has to admit that this is happening. That means yes, they, they have to acknowledge Tom McDonald and Dax. I know. Yeah. Well, not even necessarily acknowledge Tom McDonald and Dax is happening. It's acknowledging that. 
The rappers that they're signing and putting on the radio are doing the shit that Tom McDonald's talking about. You have to acknowledge that because it, 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 regardless of who's sending the message, you you think that if Jay Z wrote a message, wrote a song and said this, it, that it would get on the radio? Hell no, hell fucking no. Because again, you'd have to acknowledge that this is a problem now, in hip hop. Jay Z would get it on the radio because he'd give their fucking radio companies millions of dollars to push it, so that one would get on there. But no, they find a way to Michael Jackson his ass real quick. Let's just start there. Let really, really. You see what they did to Kanye West, right? He called out the shit. You know what I'm saying? When all falls down hit, that's when it was the beginning of the end, right there. Remember what he said? They make us hate ourselves and love their wealth. And Shorty mm-hmm. wanna holler where the ball is at? Yeah, but that then Kanye West turned into what he was talking about, so mm-hmm. but at the end of the day. And you see when he went on he went on Ellen and people thought he was crazy. They deemed Kanye West as crazy. Is Kanye West crazy? I don't think that he's crazy in the sense that he's out of his fucking mind. I think that the views that are expressed by Kanye Cleophus West the fourth are a little bit out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like they should rewrite the Bible and put him in there, yes. I mean, yes, that is a little bit out there, but you know <laughs> a little bit. Also his his slavery comment was wasn't the thing. But at the same time, none of this none of this Kanye West shit came out until he started speaking out about the hypocrisy with hip hop and African Americans. Why do you think Big Sean? You haven't you haven't heard any new Big Sean? Uh, yeah, uh, you actually have to look for Big Sean shit now. Yeah, same thing with Pusha T. Do you see any Pusha T shit? Any good music in general? Any anybody from good music? Why do you think J Cole left the label? Why do you think Jordan is doing what he's doing now? Think of- but okay, overall the message of the song is fantastic. The song was really good. Thank you guys for letting us know about it because YouTube wasn't going to show it to us. No, not at all. So- because <laughs> then they can't get their hundred million views for uh, Takashi Six Nine if they did that. So you know, just and Takashi Pita is coming for you. Yeah, we snitch, nigga. Sorry. <laughs> we acted like you was in prison. <laughs> hey, you know that you know that dude, Carl, 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 Carl. Yeah, he got stacks in his pocket. It's from moving drugs and uh, uh, yeah. Come on, guys. he be having his kid. He be, he be having his kids take that shit to the school and sell it for him. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck it, shit, man. Oh man. So, what do you? So, did you like this? No, I like the song. I love the song. I thought it was a beautiful song, and I thought it, the message was absolutely one hundred percent spot on. Um. Unfortunately, remember, we, I guess we talked about role models in our in, in our um, in our extra pan video. Yes. Yeah, so we talked about this, right? This was a discussion that we had, and about who, people who worship, you know, musicians because they look like them. You know what I'm saying? And when they when when you can gravitate towards someone, you kind of draw themselves. You mean draw your your wagons to their horse, as they say. Um, the problem is, is that when you have that, with the good comes the bad. I wish more people would strap their horse to Tom McDonald. I wish more people would strap their horse to Dax. Hell, mm-hmm. there's a bunch of independent artists that, hell, I would think that, I wish that more people would strap their, their horse, I mean, their, their wagon to guys like Chris Gallico. And you Brandon know, Hart. And Brandon Hart. Tech Nine. I mean, even though Tech Nine is the, the largest independent uh, artist in the world, still, you, you, I would think that at this point, he should, instead of one, two, three million, he should be selling four, five, six, seven, eight million at this point. Yeah. But, you know, the industry is punks, as he likes to say. So, when you have a situation like that, and you have an artist like this, an artist like Tom McDonald, who's constantly pushing the barrier and constantly calling out the hypocrisy of the industry, um, sometimes you, like, you, this is what the industry is going to do. They're going to push you away. Could you imagine, would you, if I would have told you that not only this song was out, but it had 4.4 million views without any kind of advertisement, would you believe me? Uh, seeing what we've seen from Tom McDonald over the last year, yes. <laughs> yeah, but recently we've seen Tom McDonald yeah. on social yeah. media. and it, it, Tom McDonald's social media has grown, grown hands over foot, uh, maybe, you know, dollar over fist or whatever the case may be, whatever your metaphor is going to be, since People So Stupid came out. When people yeah, saw Suma came if you out, ask me, if you asked me a year ago, no, because all that YouTube was thrown out there, where it's controversial songs like "White Boy" and shit like that. Yeah, but people saw stupid, took off, and then it's serious shit, took off. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
that's that's the point. The industry is only going to let you hear what it wants you to hear, because they got all the money, they have all the power. You think Sony's not invested in their music? You think Interscope is not invested in their music? Universal owns Interscope. You think they're not invested in their music? You know, you gotta look at it like that. The industry, the the music industry, is controlled by power players. And for the industry is punks. And for Tom McDonald to still garner almost five million views off of a song with Dax, by the way, who is like him, mm -hmm. taking off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but a year and a half ago, did you ever do you ever know who Dax was a year and a half ago? I heard of him, but never actually listened to him. And, and who, whose fault is that? YouTube. Yeah. Because cause Dax was still getting one or two million video views back then, a million views. Come on now, they, we all know we know the situation. We know the deal. The industry stops things like this because yeah, because because Joker was actually the first song I heard from Dax. Yeah, and that was something that I found, and I said you need to see this, right? Yeah. I said I saw the first thirty seconds of this, and it was on Facebook, and I said you need to see this because you hey. know my because you know my affinity towards that character. Yep, and I said you need to see this, bro. And but you go back into his history. Mm -hmm. He was only doing it six months prior before that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think about that shit. It, it's, it's fucked up to think about. And if I end up assassinated, make sure you promote this fucking video. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy Iovine gonna be on my ass, nigga. Nah, but you know what I'm saying? You gonna be like, player, player, player. Um, <laughs> I, need to, um, I need to have some words with you, homie. Um, so, I was watching this reaction and... Um, yeah, you're trying to call us out now, man. Um, <laughs> so what's going to end up happening here is... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <sighs> He'll do it in front of the kids and the dog, too, just to prove a point. Crazy motherfucker. All right. So Big Sim. Yeah. Before I die, sir, before I get jumped by Jimmy Iovine and the and the uh and the goons at Interscope Universal, please let the people know where they can find more reactions like this and many more right here on Sinful Black TV as we become the reactors of infamy. Okay, so what I'm gonna need y'all to do right now <laughs> is um yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Cause um because if you don't I'm going to have to bring Suge Knight over and hang you out a window. Um, I'm going to have to send, you know, my name's Jimmy Iveen, and um, yeah, I'm going to have to send my boys over there and tune you up like we got to do Hollywood and speaking the truth about our industry. Um, <laughs> so with that being said, you can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell so you know when these Sinful Black Reacts drops, even though it'll be a solo show after tomorrow, so don't worry about it, y'all. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> So until next time. Possibly. Uh Possibly. <laughs> That's my man, Big Sin. I'm your boy, Hollywood J. Black. Or I might be redacted by this point. This is Silver Black. Reality. Hollywood J. Redacted. <laughs> Imagine you said, you know what, Hollywood? I bought your name. I copyrighted your fucking name, you son of a bitch. Every time you say this shit, you owe me a dollar. Huh. <laughs> Your name is 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 a pussy McPussyfoot, motherfucker. I copyrighted this shit just for Give me you. your motherfucking nineteen dollars of revenue. <laughs> and we have to stay till tomorrow, probably, unless they change my shit. Deuces. Oh.